Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about Tokyo Ever After and Tokyo Dreaming. Izumi finds out more about her family's past. What would you do if you were in her situation? One, I love both the titles of the book. I think it's very creative. Two, both the books include a family tree which is very clear and concise. And I appreciate that because especially if you're reading books that introduce a lot of characters, it's nice to have like an actual visual family tree for you to reference back to. I also like that when you read the dialogue between the characters, they do insert some Japanese um, words in there. And so I think it adds to the experience of um, the Japanese dialogue and learning more about Japanese culture, too, uh, in terms of Japanese royalty. Um, I love the um, communication between the dad and Izumi, and also with Izumi and her mom. Um, this is like the ideal, like how parent and child should communicate with each other. Um, I want to share some quotes from the dad, just to kind of reinforce why I love him as a character. So he says to his daughter, um, you always lead with your heart. And I think that's um, important, right? Because um, that's what makes like a great leader to, you know, of course, like having um, logic and things like that is very important. But I think also leading with your heart is important when it comes to um, trying to win people over. Uh, another quote that I want to share from the dad is, a man shouldn't have to read about what his child likes on paper. So there's a reason why um, he says that, but I don't want to give it away. But just like like that, right? It just kind of shows his character. Like he's going to ask his daughter questions, right? He's not going to wait for it to come to him. He's going to be proactive about it. Um, another one that he says is, traditions are important, but I believe they can unite as easily as they divide. Man, and these this dad has so much words of wisdom. We need to like listen to this dad. Um, and then the last one is um, this one's more like a dad being a dad. How like you know if something happens to your daughter, you know you want to be that protective person. So he kind of jokes around like making this um, person like disappear. So I think it was just funny. Um, so the dad also has a humor, a sense of humor to him as well. There's another character that I like. Uh, her name is Reina, and she's like the bodyguard of the family. So I appreciate um, just how alert and attentive and how serious she takes her job. Um, the Some of the scenes, like romance scenes in the book, can be a little cheesy. Not cringy, cheesy. There is a difference. Um, and I, why I say cheesy because um, I feel like, you know, when I read, read this book, I get um, like Princess Diary, uh, a Cinderella story, or like a Cadet Kelly type of movie. I mean, I love all those movies, by the way, but it just makes me feel like, like if this was made into a movie, this would be like on a Disney Channel type of um, production for me so that's why I say like some of the romance scenes or like dialogue can be a little bit cheesy but not cringy there was um a couple characters that I liked initially and because of their actions uh it made me not like them anymore so I was very surprised um and it did not expect that from them so kudos to the author for that um both books I would rate the same um, which is good. I feel like at least like, you know, sometimes when you read series, sometimes you feel like the second book didn't live up to the first book type of thing. But for me, I felt like both books, I would rate the same. Three stars for me. Please let me know if you like the book. If you didn't like the book, who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.